this morning when I started thinking, started um, looking at this certain scenario, someone uh, popped in my head, and that was Francis Scott. Um, Francis was married to Donald Scott, one of the heirs to the um, Scott Paper Towel Company out in uh, Malibu. And the L.A. County Sheriff's Department uh, went in there and he was unarmed, sitting in his chair. And they unloaded on him. Um, they didn't find anything related to their search warrant. He was unarmed. Uh, Francis saw the whole thing. and See, this is how I met Burry Olson, Barbara Moore, and that little circle out there in Malibu and Trancas. Um, and then there was another situation that popped in my mind. Uh, Pat McGuire. Uh, he was mentioned by Linda Moulton Howe, which, of course, she lives here in Albuquerque. She's not a friend of mine, nor associate. Um, Pat has a granddaughter. Pat's deceased, but there's a granddaughter. I'm not going to put her name out there. But several years ago, she had cameras set up outside. And her cameras caught some activity going on. And then later, it was reported that somebody was murdered at that location. But the time was off. And she had the correct time stamp. So that was scaring her in case somebody could hack into her system and figure out, hey, somebody recorded something that was misreported to dispatch 911. Um, and then another uh, situation popped up. Darn it, my mind just went blank. Um... Oh, 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 yes, yes. Okay. Where I used to stay out, San Fidel. Let's just call it a safe house. Um, I met this guy a few years back, former military. Um, he worked on radar tower systems, putting up thousands of pieces to put a uh, broadcast tower up in uh, various locations. I met him after I had lived in this place in San Fidel, New Mexico. And then when I was met this guy, he was telling me about how he got swatted out in San Fidel by the Sheriff's Department that came out of Grants, New Mexico. And he said, which I did see the documents, I did have copies previously that I showed on a, another channel. Um, but he had documents that came from the VA in Albuquerque to do a wellness check on him. Except, he was swatted. And the fact that the SWAT team was there before the fax was actually sent, you know, the confirmation time, all that at the top. Yeah, those numbers were off too. Um, and he said the only thing he thought that had saved him was he had his children there. And, um, 
it was just so odd that he ended up <laughs> safe place where I thought I was safe too, and then it turned out not to be so safe. Um, so these experiences I've had with people, yeah, I'm I'm picking up on some stuff for you there. <laughs>